In this first video for whole numbers grade 8, we're going to have a look at the terminology and theory that you should know. Numbers are classified and put into different groups. In this chapter, we are only going to work with whole numbers. Whole numbers are the numbers on the number line starting at 0 and then increasing with 1 every time. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, continuing all the way up to infinity. On all of these whole numbers, specific operations can be performed. Firstly, we have addition, and the inverse operation of addition will be subtraction. Then we also have multiplication, and the inverse of that is division. When an expression consists of more than one of these operations, it is important that you know in which order the operation should be done. If there are brackets, the operations inside the brackets always has to be done first. Then you move on to multiplication and division, and lastly you will do addition and subtraction. Multiplication and division are equal in priority, so you can choose which one you do first. That is the same for addition and subtraction. There are a few properties that apply when you are working with whole numbers. These properties supply you with different acceptable methods to get to the same answer. The first property is the commutative property that applies to addition and multiplication. This property says that when you are adding or multiplying, the order in which the numbers appear doesn't matter. For example, 4 plus 5 equals 9, but if you swap around the order of the numbers, you will still get 9. That is why this property applies to addition. Similarly, when I have 2 times 3, I will have an answer of 6, and when I swap the order around, I will still get an answer of 6. This property does not apply to subtraction or division. Next, we'll have a look at the associative property, which is also only true for addition and multiplication. This property states that when you have more than two values that you need to add or multiply, you can choose in which order you do that. For example, if we need to add 4, 5 and 3, you can choose to firstly add 4 and 5 to get a value of 9 and then add 3 more to end with 12. Or you can choose to add the 4 and the 3 together first. That will give me 7 and when I add 5 I will also get 12. And you can even also choose to first add the 5 and the 3 and you will still get the same answer. Similarly, when I multiply, I can choose which part I want to start with. Here, if I choose to first multiply 2 by 3, I will get 6, and then multiply that by 4 to get 24. Or you could choose to first multiply the 3 by 4. That means that 2 still has to be multiplied by 12, which again will give you 24. These two properties are useful when you need to multiply or add a whole lot of different numbers without a calculator. Example 1. Calculate the following. Here we have a whole lot of terms that need to be added. Because we are adding, you can choose to simply start from left to right. In that case, here we will start with 2 plus 5 to get 7 then add 7 to get 14, 14 plus 8 gives me 22, adding another 3 will get me to 25, and then plus 1 to have a final answer of 26. Or you could have chosen to make use of the associative property and put together or associate values that you can add up easily. So if you already know quite well which values add up to give you 10, you might have chosen to start by adding the 2 and the 8 together. Next you can add the 7 and 3 and then lastly add the 5 and the 1 to that. Because here we now know that we have 10 plus 10 
plus another 6, which also gives us 26. In example 2, we now need to multiply, and this value can get big quite quickly. That is why it will be helpful if you know that 4 times 25 is 100, and that you are allowed to do that part first. So I'm going to choose to say 4 times 25 is 100, and then I still have to multiply this by 3 times 6, which is 18. And 100 times 18 is then 1,800. The third property is the distributive property, which is only applicable to multiplication. Usually, when we have a value that should be multiplied by a bracket consisting of more than one term, we first simplify the bracket so that we can multiply the 3 with the value of the bracket. In the example, the value of the bracket is 9. Now, 3 times 9 is 27. The distributive property says that you can also choose to take the 3 that should be multiplied with the bracket and distribute it by multiplying each term inside individually. So firstly, I will say 3 times 4 is 12 and then 3 times plus 5 is plus 15. And when I now add these two values, I will still get 27. This property becomes very useful when we get to algebra and the two terms inside the bracket are not like terms. Another term that you need to know is the identity element. These elements are numbers that when an operation is done with these numbers will not change the identity of the original value. The identity element for addition is a zero because when you take a number and you add 0 to it, the value stays the same and keeps its original identity. The identity element for multiplication is a 1, because once again, if I take a value and I multiply it by 1, it will stay that original value keeping its identity. Just always be careful that you don't mix up the two. For example, when you multiply using the addition identity element of 0, you will always get an answer of 0. Dividing by 0 is, however, a different story. We already know that, for example, 6 divided by 3 means forming groups of 3, which will give us an answer of 2. The inverse is also true, and that means that 2 multiplied by 3 will give us the original value of 6. But what will happen when we divide 6 by 0? If we try the inverse operation here, we will have to multiply this value by 0 to get an answer of 6. And we already know that anything multiplied by 0 will give us 0. And this is why, in mathematics, dividing by zero is classified as undefined. But even though we now know that you can never divide by zero, you can take zero and divide it by anything to get an answer of zero. In the next video, we're going to use all the terminology from this video and build on that.